So, hey guys, it's Book Fan Geek, and uh, if I seem like I'm talking quiet today, it's because I am, and this is going to come into play later, but um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a life update, so I, I had an idea for an art piece I wanted to draw for a while now, and since yesterday was my birthday, I thought my birthday gift would be that I could actually do this piece that I wanted to make, and... Uh, I could record it to use it to give you guys some information about what's going to happen this year. So I um, wanted to let you guys know what's going to be happening in the next couple months. So um, I know I said I wanted to make speed paints come out more frequently, however college is starting and I am going to be rooming with uh, rooming with people in a suite this year, which means that I am not going to be alone for <laughs> most of next year. And um, I don't know how soundproof the rooms are going to be. And that is a huge issue for me. It's kind of always been an issue for me recording while other people are home. The reason I am talking quiet today is because my brother is literally in a room down the hall and I don't want him to hear me talking to myself. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a huge issue. I'm not even comfortable doing it with my family, much less people that I actually don't know. So um, yeah, whether or not I actually make videos frequently is going to entirely depend on whether I can either find some good copyright free music to use for my videos or I can um, find a quiet place on campus where no one can hear me to record. That second one is extremely doubtful because I am I never leave my room when I'm in college and I doubt I'm going to lug all of my recording equipment across campus if I find somewhere quiet to record. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the big one that I wanted to get out there. I may or may not be posting videos while I'm at college. There's, it, it's a low probability. However, when I come back for breaks, I will do my best to have a bunch of stuff recorded. So, or not recorded, but, oh yeah, no, screen recorded, recorded and scripts written so that I can make a bunch of videos. This video is not scripted. Um, so, yeah, there's that. That is the big update that I wanted to give you all. So, um, why not take a minute to talk about the piece? So I have been, uh, I just recently got a new computer. Sorry, my brother came out of the room, so I had to be quiet, and I'm going to be even quieter now because he might still be on the staircase. But, um, So yeah, I recently got a new computer to replace my old one. I did not use the new computer to record this video. I still haven't transferred my files or my art programs on there. However, um, because of that, I had the ability to play a game that was not compatible with my old computer or my, um, my school laptop, which is what I'd been using to play video games uh, before that because it thing is it's a Mac so it doesn't play a lot of a uh, lot of uh, good games and so I was able to play the first two games of the Rompa series and I bought V3 without checking the um, compatibility of it with my Mac and it turns out it was a Windows only game and that was super disappointing because I binged <laughs> binged both of those games and I really wanted to record the other one, or not record, to play the other one, but I couldn't. So I got the new video, or the new computer, and I was able to play the game. And um, the opening <laughs> twist of the game shocked me so much, I felt like I had to draw something for it. So uh, I drew the two player characters of the game. Um, Honestly, I think I was more upset about the fact that the main character was not going to be a girl than I was about anything else when the twist happened, though. I was very excited to play as a girl, so I'm a little disappointed. But, um, so yeah, that is, you know, what I was doing with the piece. I drew this on my birthday, so I believe somewhere in this, um, this lining process, I actually got a call from my grandparents uh, wishing me a happy birthday and I had to stop what I was doing and talk to them for a little bit. 
Um, this piece I decided I wanted to go a little more um, complicated than I usually do. I did some experiment with the shading and uh, I mean the line art's pretty much the same. I recently changed my sketching method to include an under sketch because I realized that my anatomy looks significantly better when I do that. So uh, we have the addition of that and um, I don't know for whatever reason I was having a lot of trouble. My computer must have been lagging a lot because um, my tablet pen was I think I mentioned this in another video, but I have an issue with the tablet pen not stopping drawing when I lift it up sometimes. And in this video, it was really, really bad. I don't think I, at some point, I even stopped bothering to clean up the little over overspills. Um, I am watching this video while I record this, but I think I'm going to speed up. The recording. The recording that I'm watching is 20 minutes and I want this video to be maybe 15 at the most. Um, but yeah, so this was a, a fun experiment, a fun little piece of fan art. I really want to draw fan art more often, but it's uh, it's difficult just because making, making my main comic takes so much time and I because I was unable to get hired for a job over the summer, I kind of desperately needed to, um, you know, to do commissions to get that money, and the commissions took even more of my time, so I was barely able to draw any art for myself this summer. Um, so yeah, this is like one of the only pieces. Oh, and uh, in the recording I'm watching right now, we just got... I don't actually know how to pronounce these characters' names. I, if I'm being honest, I don't really listen to audio when I play video games. I just kind of read it. So forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong. But um, whoever designed Katie's shirt, I hate you in particular. Why would you? Why would you draw the music staff? I I don't know. In the middle of trying to draw, I decided I was going to give up on doing it all on Paint Tool Sci, and I opened up Clip Studio, which is significantly laggier on my computer. I used it to create a pattern with the given skirt pattern on the reference sheet for Katie I found. Oh, I cannot... Katie sounds so wrong. How, how, would, how do you pronounce it? I should have looked this up before I recorded the audio. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that you could copy and paste transparent images between Clip Studio and Paint Tool Sci, as you normally can't copy and paste transparent stuff uh, between the two. Well, maybe between the two is wrong. You can't normally copy and paste transparent stuff from the internet and keep it transparent. But this was my first time ever trying to make a ribbon brush on Clip Studio. So that was interesting. I could not figure out how to get pressure sensitivity on the um, on the ribbon brush. I there there has to be a way, but I couldn't find it. You're going to see me make the brush twice just trying to figure it out. Um, I tested out the blood splatter one and realized that the blood splatter one does actually use pressure sensitivity, so I thought if I edited that one to make it a ribbon instead it would work, but as soon as I made it a ribbon the pressure sensitivity went away, which was kind of frustrating because, um, you know, the way I had Katie's shirt fold, it would need to be a lot thinner toward the end and a lot thicker at the beginning, but I couldn't necessarily do that. And also because of the way that I guess I made the um, the pattern, I had to go back and fill in the, the missing areas of line after I was done, so that added some extra time. But at least it doesn't look terrible. Uh, you know, it, it looks significantly better than if I tried to hand draw all of those music notes myself. And I was able to use the free deform tool but, um, I mean, I don't know. I like Psy. I wish it had a uh, mesh transform tool. It's definitely missing one of those. Um, because I have a new computer, the reason I didn't switch to Clip Studio already is because um, 
my old computer was so laggy I legitimately could not <laughs> could not uh, use Clip Studio without basically breaking my computer. Um, so now that I have this new computer I'm gonna try and use Clip Studio more. I just have to figure out uh, how to get it on it because I have apparently used the license for Clip Studio too much and I can't install it on this new computer. Um, Oh, here's a fun part of the video. The part where I realized that there's apparently a gradient on top of Katie's skin, which makes her her face and her legs different colors, and I color picked from her legs, which means that her hair and actual skin tone were two completely different colors that did not mesh, like, at all. So I had to completely recolor that. And yeah, these character designs are significantly more complicated than what I'm used to drawing. I I mean, I kind of have an animator brain. Anytime I'm making a character design and I want to add more complicated details, I have a little thing in my brain that goes, no, that would be horrible to animate. What are you doing? And that is kind of the main reason why none of my characters have, like, clothing patterns or anything like that. Um, and I also forgot a lot of small details, things like adding two rows of buttons on, once again, I don't know how to pronounce these names, Sushi's, Suchi's, I don't know, his, um, his shirt when there really was only one, and then I completely forgot to fill in the gaps in the color that it left when I erased those buttons. Um, I, I did, I did fill it though, don't worry, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I, I guess he does not have a full body sprite that I could find, so I had to use a shaded illustration to get the reference for his legs, and um, I mean, I guess color picking for the pants was easy because it's literally just the same as his shirt, but I don't know if I got the shoe color right. It's kind of hard to tell when people shade stuff, which is why you never should shade reference sheets, just saying. People who put watermarks and shading on reference sheets don't do that. Oh, and um, this time around, I actually decided I wanted to try something new for the uh, way that I color, and I decided to try out a multi-light-sourced multi, uh, image, mostly because I'd just seen a tutorial for how to do it online. I, I wasn't looking for it, I was kind of looking more for how to use mood lighting in a piece and also switch between different mood lightings as the tone changes in a comic without making the random color change when the mood changes distracting because there are no video tutorials for it online if you know a good person to watch who does tutorials on uh how to use mood lighting in scenes and comics and not make any color changes distracting please tell me because i'm sick of using true colors in power pills and i would love to actually be able to you know use mood lighting but overall, yeah, I do think the shading came out surprisingly well. I kind of just scribbled a bunch of stuff and then, like, blended it out to where I I saw fit. And, um, I don't know if it's perfect, but it's a lot closer to the shading style that I really want to have than, um, anything I've created in the past, so that's really cool. Um... I've, I've been recently experimenting a lot with my shading and making everything look nice and pretty and, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I'm going to start college soon and I'm actually going to have some art classes for once. Uh, you know, it was something that I... it was not a part of the major that I was looking for originally, but I'm switching majors now so I can actually have some, some like art art classes and hopefully my art will start improving visibly because of them. But uh, I mean, I don't know, I wouldn't hold my breath. I don't know how much of a difference college art classes make on an art style, but we'll see. I hope I am not talking too quietly for you guys to hear. People have started moving around in my house now and I really don't want them to hear me. Ugh. See, this is why I'm pretty sure I will not be putting out videos in college if my uh, sweet mates can hear me. So I am just going to end the video now. Um, 
I'm just gonna use my old outro because I, I'm doing this off the cuff, it's not scripted and I don't have my list of patrons, but um, huge shout out to all my uh, patrons, especially my $10 plus patrons, which do get you a shout out at the end of the video. Uh, sorry that I don't have the list, this is really just a quick video that you know, I needed to get out so you guys don't think I died right after I say I'm trying to get videos out every other week. Um, but yeah, I do have another video in the works that should come out at some point, but it's a lot. I might start doing weekly live streams with one of my friends um, to work on progress of the Valerian Manor, if you guys remember that, that, that old thing. We do still work on it every once in a while, and it's just hard to get motivated because it kind of turns out I'm not a huge fan of animating. I don't really have the patience for it, and I'm never really motivated to do it. So I, I kind of, I'm tr gonna try and use the, the live streams to keep myself motivated, and keep myself accountable for actually working on it, so we can actually get it out, at a reasonable time. So um. Thanks for watching this this update video. I hope you liked the piece. Uh, I'll probably include a version of it on my copyrighted music channel with actual like copyrighted music for you guys to listen to if you don't want to hear me ramble. Probably should have put that at the beginning of the video. Oh well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in whatever my next video is. And whenever my next video is.